All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, tis in for it, yay. Um, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning, and I wanted to go ahead and make some videos because I haven't done so in like two, two days. I got some requests for people asking me, hey, Infrared, how do you host a server? Hey, Infrared, how do you install HD Texture Pack? So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let me go ahead and make a tutorial. Um, one of the biggest issues that I've seen with tutorials that I found online is... Um, the people that are doing it have accents, and I don't have any problem with accents, but you have to realize that if you are not from the country where your accent's from, it is a lot harder to understand what you're saying. So people like myself who are from America, I have a tendency to listen to these guys, and I feel like they're talking with a lump of shit in their mouth. So it's, it's much more difficult for me to understand you. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make two servers. I'm not going to do it in the same video, I'm going to have it in separate videos. The first one I'm going to do is the Minecraft default server. This is from the actual server, uh, the Minecraft server software from Minecraft.net. And then, my next one I will show you how to make a uh, server with Bucket. Because that's what I prefer. But, uh, Minecraft uh, default, the primary reason why I like this is when 1.3 came out, fucking shit went crazy and I had to fix it and the only way to do that until Bucket was released with an update and all my plugins were released with an update is with the Minecraft default server which when they released 1.3 was up and I was able to have my server up within minutes. Um, of course no plugins which sucks but anyway um, it's pretty easy. Um, whoops. That is uh, I was watching Tosh point out um, I went ahead and copied the DVD to my computer but let's go to this um, all you have to do is go to minecraft.net click download and go down to here uh, where it says uh, if you're running Windows and just want to set up a server easily download minecraft server exe when you go ahead and you download this you're probably gonna want to save it to your desktop it shows up as minecraft server on minecraft uh, underscore server so it's not going to be executable so what you're gonna have to do is save it to your desktop like so um, it might happen to some of you but this is what I've had to do and you right click it you rename it to a .exe very easy boom now it's a Minecraft so what you're gonna wanna do after you get the exe is create a folder um, when you create the folder doesn't matter what it is just put the exe in there when you go ahead and you do that uh, let me go ahead and uh, do this Let me go ahead and take down my current server. Uh, this is the server that everybody wanted to get on. So, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in its own little list. Then double click it and click run. It's going to take a few minutes. A little bit laggy. But allow access. Yeah, there we go. Now it's preparing spawn area. It's loading up in the default server uh, UI. And now it's there. Now everything is loaded. So immediately what you want to do is after the initial load is click is hit stop, saving chunk so it's saving your world and it closes out. And as you notice in this uh, folder that had nothing in it, it now has a list of files as well as a world that has been generated. This doesn't matter. Um, it has banned IPs, banned players because they do differentiate between the two. Um, and as the name suggests, uh, banned IPs. It's the actual IP of the player. Bland player. Band players is the actual name of the players. Ops. Yeah, these are the people that have op status on your server. Um, admin status. Uh, wh uh, whitelist. These are people that are only allowed in your server. Now, what you're going to immediately want to do is you're going to go into your server properties. Server properties is pretty important. I'm going to go ahead and explain what is in this file. Um, Minecraft server properties, it's going to show the date that the uh, server was established. And it's going to go through a few options. Level name. This is what world is going to be loaded when you load your server. I am not going to get into multi-world servers. That is going to be for another tutorial probably down the line when I fully figure it out. Because I'm kind of new to this still. But I figured out the basics, so I figured I should share that. Alright. Level name. World. Well, if we look right here world is displayed and I do apologize ahead of time if it seems kind of weird the delay between my movements and when you see them um, it doesn't seem to be exactly on point but it works um, alright what do we got hell world false 
Um, as you expect, Hellworld is the nether. And we wanted it false because we don't want people to immediately spawn in the nether. Because if you have monsters on, they will die. Um, online mode. Uh, sorry, I skipped the one. Mo uh, spawn monsters. This is depending on your needs. Um, if you're the kind of person that wants a server that has no problems, there's no monsters, no zombies, no skeletons, no creepers, put that to false. And you actually have to type it in. As you notice, when you go ahead and you see this, there is no space between this. And this is case sensitive, so you want to make sure that when you write false, it is in all lower cases. Um, online mode. Now, this is actually really important. Um, they tell you when you put it to false, this, um, you know, you could possibly get hackers. It's not saying hackers in the sense of they're going to crash your computers. Because in all honesty, that's really just for the movies. Um, when they mean, what the, when they say hackers, what they mean is people that have hacked the game. They have gotten the, the game Minecraft, uh, through a, uh, illegal means, you know, through BitTorrents or IRC or something along those lines. Um. I do not condone or support anybody doing this, but um, for I know some of, I know some people I, I do know some people out there that you know can't afford it, uh, want to test out the game before they actually buy it, and they've done this. Um, so if you want, if you don't have an if you have uh, an illegal copy, you want to make sure this is set to uh, online mode false. Um, this will not authenticate you with the uh, Minecraft uh, servers. So anybody with an illegal copy can connect. Um, again, the, to each their own, uh, my server is sent to true. So people that have an illegal copy can't connect to my server. That's a heads up for you. Um, spawn animals. These are non-hostile mobs, uh, pigs, cows, and such. Max players. This is the max amount of players that can connect to your server at one time. Uh, my default server, I keep at 20. I have not reached 20 yet because I'm slowly but surely scaling up to that. Yeah, server IP, leave this blank. It'll autofill. Uh, PvP. I do not recommend PvP for anything. PvP is for fucking assholes who have literally no lives. And when I say no lives, I'm not talking about they just sit in their home because fuck it. Honestly, who gives a shit? But I'm talking about no lives as they just want to sit there and cause other people grief. Griefers, in other words. Um, somebody who goes ahead and finds diamond, makes a diamond sword, and hunts down people who just spawn with nothing in their hands. Um, I think PvP is a waste of, of, of a feature. You guys may disagree, but fuck it. I played World of Warcraft for like five years, and I seriously hate people who just sit there and, and hunt the weak. Um, so if you want it to true, keep it to true. That means people can attack each other. If you don't want it, get rid of it. All right, now server port. Server port is pretty important. The reason why server port is, is important is that is the direction to your server. Um, me, I have two servers. I have one, which is my live server. That's where everybody can connect. I have another one, which is my test server. So the way that you do this is you got to make sure that the range of ports is open. So I have 25565 up, and I have 25566 up. Those are the, how I differentiate between them. I just change the last number to a 6, and boom, I have my test server. Or I have this. Um, whitelist. This is what was released in 1.3 of the whitelist. Um, I know this is probably getting a little bit long, guys, as far as the tutorial and how to do this, but it's really simple. But I want to explain this so you're not going to have any questions. Um, or if you do, it's pretty narrowed down to something I haven't covered. Whitelist. Exactly that. If you put this to true, um, don't save. Uh, that means that this file right here, whitelist.txt, will be active. And it will be correct in, in, in the sense of when you double click this, it's a blank sheet. So let's say you want to add people to it. I want to add myself to it. First and foremost, infrared underscore. All right. Second one person. I want to add Steven. Um, the only reason I'm saying Steven is the first person that came to mind. And I honestly love him in pink tutu. Um, and you do it like that. You do it in the line. You don't have to, you can't do it, uh, in the sense of like this, this is wrong. And I just typoed my ass off. That is wrong, how I just did it. You want to make sure you do it in the line. That is how it's going to recognize it. Um, that is about it. There is really nothing else you need to know. So let's say properties, I want to go ahead and put this server up, six, seven. Let's do this. Uh, save. I want to launch my server. 
run. All right, so the server is loaded, so I want to hop on. Let me go ahead and get on this. Now, the way that you typically connect to your default server when it loads is you type in localhost. Localhost will connect you directly to your computer server. Now, if you have an IP that is not the same, um, you want to go ahead and add a colon and then the IP that you've chosen. So I want to go ahead and connect to this. Um, sorry ahead of time if this lags. I don't even know if you can fucking see this. I have never recorded in this method. So, all right, my server is up. I've tested my server. My server is actually functional. That is a good thing. So then you just go from there. Um, I am only covering the basics on Minecraft servers. I am not going to show you guys how to record, or uh, not my, not record, how to set up plugins or mods or anything for the default Minecraft server. I am just going to show you how you set up the server by itself. And that is exactly how you do it. Now from this right here, as you can see, this is the chat, the login chat. Um, it'll show you your computer, uh, your server stats and your players. That's cool. Um, it'll show you anybody who is talking on your server. It'll show you, uh, commands that are used a bunch of shit so you can just sit here and monitor for, uh, monitor it and you know if people start connecting they say hey can you spawn me something you can easily spawn them um items from here by doing let's say they want pork chops you know i can give them 64 por uh, you know i can give myself 64 uh cooked pork chops just hit that it can't find me because i'm not on it obviously obviously but that's it guys um if there's anything that I'm missing, please let me know. Uh, I, I figure that hosting a server is extremely basic. I do not support anything else aside from hosting it. If you're going to host it from your own computer, host it from your own computer. Don't, you know, get one of those virtual fucking networks or something because that means somebody's actually connecting directly to your local network. So it's like somebody is in the next room on your local network and they have far too much control. That is stupid to do and you are going to compromise yourself. When I say compromise, that's when hacking comes into play. Um, that's when people get a hold of your network settings and they can you know, access your computer and do some really stupid shit. Don't do that. Just go ahead, do as I said, and host a simple Minecraft server like I have presented you. I hope this was helpful. If it isn't, I apologize, but this is how I learned. You know, I just went ahead and I downloaded it and I fucked around with it for like an hour or so. And boom, you know, my server's doing pretty well right now. So, hope you liked it, guys. Take care.